In Arezzo, you will see traces of different civilization. It was one of the main Etruscan town and an important medieval commune. Petrarca, Piero della Francesca, Luca Signorelli, Giorgio Vasari, Guido Monaco were all born here. The medieval heart of town is Piazza Grande, the big square where today are held the main events of the city, the Antiquarian Fair and the Giostra del Saracino. The square and other places in town were the location Roberto Benigni chose for his Oscar winner movie Life is Beautiful. If you are interested in antiques, the first Sunday and, and preceding Saturday of every month, the famed Arezzo Antiquarian Fair attracts vendors and shoppers from all over Italy. Only in September, the fair is located in the streets to leave the Piazza Grande for the Giostra del Saracino. It's a medieval festival that is held every second last Saturday of June and first Sunday of September. Knights on horseback, representing different areas of the town, charge a wooden target attached to a carving of a Saracen king. Buildings in the square witness an ancient story. Like the Loggiato del Vasari, or the 12th and 13th centuries Santa Maria della Pieve Church, with its tower of a hundred holes that is the emblem of Arezzo. Look at the facade of the Pieve, you will not find two same columns. The Corso Italia is the main street of the city since medieval times. Here you will see renascimental palaces together with medieval towers, modern boutiques and traditional gold and antiquarian handicrafts that make Arezzo famous all over the world. Dominated by the Medician Fortress, Arezzo is largely frequented by visitors for the Piero della Francesca Frescos, the story of the cross in San Francesco Church, or the wooden crucifix of Cimabue in San Domenico Church, also the Gothic Cathedral with the stained glass windows and the Magdalen by Piero. Walking in the medieval center of Arezzo, stop in a trattoria to taste typical dishes all coming from a country and ancient tradition, like the pappardelle con l'anatra, a homemade pasta with duck sauce, the sweet zolfini beans, the griffi, chunks of veal stomach, and the fagiolini di Sant'Anna, and the gâteau, a sweet of French origin. The name comes from gâteau, cake in French. Among the modern events held in Arezzo, at the end of August don't miss the polyphonic competition Guido d'Arezzo, Arezzo's territory is too a never-ending discovery. The town is located in a hillside between three valleys, each with a very strong personality. The Casentino is the mystic valley with castles and churches. The monasteries of La Verna, where St. Francis of Assisi received the stigmata, and Camaldoli are up in the mountains, while more south, Landscape is gentle and soft, dominated by the magnificent castle of Contiguidi in Poppi. The Valdarno Valley is today an important economic center in Tuscany, but also a wonderful trekking site in the Prato Magno. In the Val di Chiana, there are two sites that you cannot miss. Lucignano, one of the most extraordinary examples of medieval urbanism because of its elliptical plant, and Cortona, with its Etruscan origins and medieval history, that offers a view that you will not forget. There is a fourth valley in Arezzo's territory, the Val Tiberina. We can call it Piero's Valley, because here you will find some of the most famous works of Piero della Francesca, the Madonna del Parto in Monterchi, and the Politico della Misericordia, La Resurrezione, and San Giuliano in San Sepolcro, where Piero was born. In Val Tiberina, don't miss the stone houses of Anghiari, a beautiful village famous for the battle between Florence and Milan in 1440. Near Arezzo, there is a village named Ponte Buriano that is known not only for its beautiful Romanesque bridge, but also because Leonardo da Vinci chose it as a background for his most famous and ambiguous portrait. <laughs>